The immense room beyond is shrouded in dusty curtains that cover the windows and tumble across the floor like waves. A conical beam of cold light, swirling with dust motes, descends from the ceiling to a circular table in the middle of the room. Sitting beside the table, in a gleaming bronze and wicker wheelchair, is an old lady wearing a turban. The way her wrinkly head emerges from her sumptuous silky gown reminds me of a turtle. She beckons me in with a motion of her claw-like hand, and the doors swing shut behind me. Ah, Mr. Lemon, Lady Kraken says as I hesitate by the door. Don't just stand there like a question mark, boy. Come closer. As I approach, I pull my lost and founder's cap from my head. The elastic pings and nearly takes my eye out. Mrs. Uh, at Lady Madam, I say, rubbing my eye and trying a bow. She lets out a hoot of laughter. <laughs> no need for all that. Come to the table, Mr. Lemon. Tell me what you see here. I reach the table which is bathed in the strange shaft of light. It reminds me of a cinema projector, only the light is coming straight down from above. I'm about to ask what it all means when I gasp. That's the pier! And sure enough, projected on the table in front of me is a moving image of the pier at Erion Sea seen from above. But it's not merely a flat picture, the image is three-dimensional raised up off the tabletop in a structure of sparkling dust motes. It's a perfect model of the pier, with the black sea heaving beneath it. <laughs> of course it's the pier, Lady Kraken cackles. And there, look, Mr. Seagull is just closing up for the night. And it's true. As I watch, I see a tiny model of round Mr. Seagull emerge from his fish and chip shop in the middle of the pier, carrying a bucket. <laughs>